Today we're going to take a look at the out grid view commandlet. Out grid view sends the output of a command to a grid view window that acts as a, an interactive graphical user interface. This grid view will allow you to sort or filter your data. But more importantly, if you use the pass through parameter, it will let you select data to send through to the pipeline to pass that, that output to other commands. So today to demonstrate the functionality of outgrid view, we're going to use start service and stop service to select some services and, and, and see those, those changes take place. So to get started, the first thing we're going to want to do is I arbitrarily pick some Xbox services, but we're going to take a look at a, a subset of services. So in this case, we're going to get service and, and take a look. As you can see, we have five services that are all stopped, you know, relating to the Xbox. We're going to run get service, pipe that output to outgrid view with the dash pass through parameter. The dash pass through parameter is what is going to let us send that output on to another command. And in this case, we're going to use start service. We can see that in PowerShell, the grid view display screen will pop up. What we have here is the output from get service. And we can select a couple of these services to actually pass through to start. So for our example, we're just going to arbitrarily select three of these services holding the control key, you can highlight additional lines, and then select OK to pass this through to start service. And then now again, we can take a look at the, the output from get service. And we'll see that we have successfully started three of the services. In reverse, we can do the same thing. We can pass this same output back to stop service. We'll take a look. So we've got three running services. Let's pick two of these to stop. Again, using the control key will allow us to highlight multiple lines. We select OK, back to our command prompt, and we just want to take a look at what services are running. We can see we successfully stopped two of those services. We selected those objects to pass back to the stop service parameter. We'll do it one more time. We're going to stop this last service. We want to call get service, pass it through to out grid view with the pass through parameter, and then pass that through to stop service. We get the pop up window again. The one service uh, remaining running that we want to stop, we'll select it, select OK, and then here we'll we'll finish up with a taking a look at what's running. We're back to the initial state. You can use this with any object you want to pass through. It's really just that simple. The, the pass-through parameter, <laughs> incredibly helpful.